What's up guys, it's Will here, back again, and we're here this morning to talk about the Hot Toys, the Flash figure, the young Barry Allen from the Flash film that came out earlier this year. It didn't do well financially, however, a lot of DC films aren't doing well. A little bit of a polarizing film, some people loved it, some people hate it. At the end of the day, we did get some Flash figures. Despite the Ezra Miller controversy, we're still going to get multiple Flash figures, and we're going to talk about them here today. Guys, before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and click the notification bell for updates. There's going to be a lot of cool things that I'm sharing on this channel, updates, news, reviews, uh, live streams, uh, live drops. We're going to do that even today, actually. For Wanda, be ready for that at noon. Guys, let's talk about the Flash, the Barry Allen figure. There are multiple versions. There's a deluxe version. There's a single uh, collector's edition version, and we're going to talk about both. So let's look at the description a little bit here. The time-traveling Barry Allen meets with his parents in an alternate 2013 and discovers teenage young Barry Allen is living in this period and is yet to experience the events that will transform him into the Flash. Yes, I didn't love the film, and I did see this event happen full of excitement and wonder at the arrival of older self visiting from 2022 young barry is eager to discover whether he is able to gain the very same powers and become a superhero in his own right so we have a one six scale figure uh it depicts his battle damage look with both heads and it comes with separate rolling eyeball systems the figure comes with three three interchangeable lower face plates and more expressions his costume uh recreated and painted to capture the details from the co makeshift costume uh includes a headset and specifically designed themed figure base with led light up function guys this will be available for pre-order at Common Concepts soon. However, it's not up as of me recording this video, but it should be up soon. And I'll update the description with the link uh, in the description below. I'll update with a link. So just be on the lookout for that. So you can see here, he's got very much a, you, that Batman faceplate, you know, the Christian Bale Batman faceplate where he has sort of the, look that that's kind of what barry allen's doing here and it looks cool i do like the uh the this whatever the knife in the hand or whatever from the film i do remember that part and uh there's some sort of time traveling weird shit going on with that and then the other flash comes back the movie just gets really wonky nonetheless not here to talk about the film but let's look at what this boy comes with the base is really really cool this is one of the best bases i think i've seen from hot toys in a little while it's a light up flash batman base it's really cool this is a really really nice base regardless of whether you pick up this figure i think the base will be a coveted aspect of it uh, i think the head sculpt is really good this looks a lot like ezra miller this has got to be the best ezra miller head sculpt that hot toys has done i do think hot toys is stepping up their game on head sculpts overall there's some misses there's some hits but this one is a hit i feel like so it's just unfortunate that it's the character for me, but that I don't really love. But I would say that uh, the head sculpt overall is really, really good. You can see the interchangeable face plates, a more uh, stoic kind of look, a smiling look, and then sort of an angry sort of a fighting type of look, right? So you get all three. It's very Cad Bane-ish, very Bruce uh, Wayne Batman-ish. You can swap out the face plates and you are good to go. Very, very exciting stuff there. So let's take a little bit more of a look here. There's an interchangeable battle damage arm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, like sort of the claw type thing. That's what I'm thinking of. But then you also have the, the, the knife or spear in the hand or whatever. So a lot of cool looks either way. You can swap this out and make it look how you want it. Again, this head sculpt is really, really good. This sculpted hair is great. Hot Toys really nailed this likeness. This is a very, very strong head sculpt, honestly. One of their best in a while. So got to give them credit there. You can see there's a smiling look. I'd be willing to bet most people are probably going to do something like this in their display when they display this flash just because it, you know he had kind of a, he's goofy right he has a goofy sort of smiling look uh and, and that's generally what he looks like he looks kind of like he's like oh, yeah i don't really know what i'm doing it's particularly this flash and um he just looks kind of goofy and smiling and that's what he's doing so you can also put him in sort of a fighting pose like this this one this kind of mouth pose always looks a little bit like off to me it looks a little bit awkward in figure form depends on how you pose the figure you got to put him in something dynamic for this to even remotely work but i would say yeah i i think that overall this would not be a faceplate that i would use if you get him running like this maybe but I don't know. It's a very action sort of dynamic type of faceplate that would go with it like that. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I, this one looks too good too, because at the end of the day, this Barry doesn't really know what he's doing for most of the film. So that's kind of why he looks kind of confused, kind of startled, like just kind of uncertain of himself, insecure. I think that's what looks great. Look at the battle damage on this head sculpt. This is really great. And again, I'm glad that Hot Toys is putting this much effort into a figure that they know probably won't sell that well. I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. I mean, the other Justice League figures did go up on the aftermarket but I, 
I'm not so sure about this one, uh, just because considering the state of DC right now and what people's overall uh, approach is towards DC films at the box office, I would have my doubts about this one. But I gotta say, as a figure, the figure looks fantastic. You can see the detailing in the suit there. It looks like it really uh, rec it should recover well, I'm thinking from the from the, any sort of dynamic posing. You can see here, it's, it's already starting to crease from certain poses, but it's gonna rebound pretty effectively, it looks like. Hot Toys seems to be getting better and better with that. And I think this is going to be another case of that. And uh, yeah, this looks great. This looks really, really cool. So the, you can see the, uh, the suit seems a little bit stretchy, which I think is good. And I think overall, there's a lot of nice color scheme going on you got the it almost looks like um i don't know like a it's got like school bus colors you got like black and yellow and then you got the school buses don't really have red except the stop sign but i don't know when i think of it i think of a school bus for some reason but um yeah, the ears thing are pretty cool. You got the nice sort of vibrant yellow up top there that differs from the uh, the yellow on the rest of the suit. But again, this is a makeshift flash costume and it looks pretty cool. You can see it almost looks like a mesh material right there. I'm not sure what exactly that is, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. Again, there's that awesome base. This base is so cool. And yeah, even if you, if you put the head sculpt on him, you put the helmeted look on him, either way, it's going to look fantastic. So yeah, you got some really cool stuff there. Interchangeable eyeballs, uh, you know, rolling eyeballs rather. This is a really good head sculpt. The detail in the teeth too, guys, look at the detail in the teeth. This is really good. This is a really, really good head sculpt. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just blown away by how good this head sculpt looks. Uh, I probably am not going to get this figure, but yeah, it, it is pretty cool. But you can see here with the deluxe version, you do get the sort of claw and the battle damage armor uh, swap out accessories. And then you get the extra head sculpt with the separate rolling eyeballs. Let's look at the standard version just to be certain of that. But you can see here, here's the Flash standard version. Yep, it's just the Flash. There's no extra head sculpt, essentially, that has Ezra Miller's likeness to it, besides the one under the mask, obviously. But overall, I think the deluxe version is probably worth it in this case. I'm not sure exactly on price yet, um, but I will say that overall, this is going to be a pretty cool looking figure if you're a fan of the Flash and if you are interested in picking up this boy, which look, it's a really great figure, guys. It's a really great figure. I cannot deny the quality of the figure. So yeah, I mean, I got to give my kudos on that one. But yeah, I mean, this is cool. The, the lightning effects, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments below about the lightning effects. I mean, we've gotten these for pretty much much every figure that has lightning in some way, Palpatine, Yoda even, uh, this Flash, I mean, uh, Electro. Electro, they're just yellow, but you know, it's still the same concept, right? They still look very, very sculpted and just kind of lightning toy-like, but I, to me, they're fine. Like I've heard people say that, you know, they don't like how they look and they want them to be changed. <laughs> I don't know how much more you would change it. <laughs> Sorry guys, early in the morning. <laughs> I don't know how much more you would change it. Like, I mean, it's like, it's, it's gotta be sculpted to be able to get on the figure correctly. So I don't know how you would make it look any better than it does now, but I don't know. I mean, it is pretty cool. You guys have to let me know in the comments below. The rolling eyeballs thing, I am starting to get into that. I mean, I do I do like that there's a variation that you can explore uh, in how you're gonna pose the figure and that changes how you're gonna, you know, uh, position the eyeballs. Because again, if he's looking off to the right, you have maybe a little more position to the right, have him in sort of running pose, looking up or whatever, right? Something cool that you can do and it gives you more customization. More options is always a good thing. I generally like when the it's one stick and you can move the eyes in unison. However, uh, I, I do understand that freedom is, is a great thing and you can do whatever you want with your figures if you have multiple joysticks to move. But again, this base is great. The lower face plate is great. I think that overall, we got a lot of great things coming out of this figure. So yeah. We shall see, but for me, uh, I, I think this is gonna end up being a pass. Um just because I am not as sold on the Flash film. But again, if you like the Flash, a lot of people did. James Gunn loved it. And I know a lot of collectors really liked it. So for me, it was not my favorite. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I can't deny the awesomeness of this figure. It looks really, really great. So got to give Hot Toys a lot of kudos on this one. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. It looks fantastic. So yeah. Uh, you guys have to let me know in the comments below. Again, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to the channel down below. A link to comic concepts for this figure will be placed in the description once I have one. And of course, I have a new code now. Will Fox gives you $10 off on anything a comic concept. So Will Fox, one word, and you can go from there. And guys, whenever you see this video, the, remember, there's a live drop for Artisan Scarlet Witch today on Sideshow at noon, which we will be live for. So I will be live and around for that. So let me know if you're around, stop in, say hello, and we'll kind of go from there. That said, guys, thank you so much. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. See you later. Bye, bye. See you, bye.